Yo, what's going on? It's Heavy Trev from BetterLakeMud.com. So this is the first installment of a series of videos I'm going to continue of my guitar store adventures. I'm going to go through the private stores, mom and pops, as well as the big brands, namely Guitar Center. My theory is Guitar Center is going the way of DMVs. It's a depressing, sustained carpet, um, cool instrument lacking environment these days. In my mind, you walk in, it's almost like it's fixing it towards DJ stuff and, and and smoke machines and keyboards and MIDI stuff that's pretty freaking lame. The days of Gibson Les Paul classics, standards, and, and studios and, and 61 reissues all over the place that you can just grab and play whatever you want to, or you know, a decent Jackson that you can do some dive bombs on. Those days are long gone. But this is a pretty cool guitar setup. And there's some, some cool fiddles I found, and you'll see from the clips here. Um, the Guitar Center isn't completely dead yet. first guitar was a Chris Robertson PRS SE. Chris Robertson's the dude from Blackstone Cherry. Um, dude, for an SE guitar, incredible. Incredible. I remember like when the SEs first came out, the Korean made PRSs. They were junk. Or at least in my mind, they, they felt like junk. They felt like toys. This thing felt like a proper PRS. As a guy that has owned uh, several different PRSs and, and played a litany of different um, PRS instruments, core models, S2s, um, and, and other SEs. I was pleasantly surprised with this. The cool thing, that whole humbucker versus P90, I didn't understand it and, and you, initially, but you can hear in the video the dichotomy between it. Really cool. And then there's the coil split in the middle position of the humbucker. Um, so I, that sounded fantastic. I think it's just a very versatile instrument. nylon string guitar at Guitar Center. Ah. Most expensive. Try this. Oh shit, I lost the tag. Not a problem. Thought guitar setting. Go through your inventory of classical guitars that you're not going to sell because any discerning, discerning buyer who picks them up 
uh, is going to think that they have the sustain of a rock. Donate them. Found this charity. It's called guitarsforvets.org. Guitars number four vets.org. Donate them. Get rid of them. Put them to get used to somebody who wants to try and learn guitar. Anyway, moving on. Then I ventured into the steel string realm, and we found some cool fiddles in that regard. <laughs> string martin part of the x series which is mexican made um but you heard in the video that thing sounds freaking banging it was it was fun i, I played tanger led zeppelin tangerine and I, i've never played that, that song on a 12 string and dude it, it just it sung it was fantastic i really really enjoyed it i'm conflicted though because if you look through the spec sheet pretty much every piece of that guitar is some sort of laminate besides the, the, the spruce top. Everything in my body tells me I should hate this guitar, but it just sounds freaking banging. And the last instrument I played, and we rounded out the evening with some Garth Brooks, much too young to feel this damn old, and some heavy trap acoustic shredding. Um, was some sort of Martin single cutaway. I love the guitar. It played fantastic. And then, and then I read something about Rich Light on the tag, and, and realized that that wasn't Ebony on the fretboard, but it felt fantastic. So I am so freaking conflicted because the guitar is, is played fantastic. Yet I have resin infused paper layers as the as the fingerboard, as the fretboard on this guitar. Kentucky windage of tuning. Google that, you know what I mean?
Again, I'm conflicted. Love that Martin guitar. If you know what it is, please comment because I, I can't let me find that model on the website because I do dig it. And um, the links to everything I discussed, the guitars for Beth, as well as Bob Taylor's video on Ebony for fretboards and the future of Taylor guitars and, and fretboards in general in the guitar industry will be in the description. It's been real. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Guitar Safari at the Guitar Center in Maryland. More to come. Heavy trip out.